Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to a new episode of Tina Tries It. Now, as you guys know, airlines have taken a huge hit this year due to COVID-19. Many people aren't traveling and so airlines have to come up with other ways to adapt to this new norm in order to survive. And some have gone pretty creative. Hong Kong Express started offering flights to nowhere. Same as Qantas in Australia, they started offering a seven hour scenic flight around Australia, which sold out in 10 minutes. Thai airline to open up a restaurant in the airport serving their in-flight meals and the latest one I've seen is from Singapore Airlines. They started offering their first and business class menus and it's actually available for delivery. Now it may seem a little bit silly and you might even wonder who would actually pay for this. Well, you're looking at someone who would. I'm talking about the food, not the flights to nowhere. I love traveling, but I don't love flying that much. I do love food, however. So when I saw that Singapore Airlines had this new meal delivery service available, I just knew I had to try it out, you know, for research purposes. Okay, so I have Alfred here. We're gonna be looking at the um, menu that Singapore Airlines is offering that you can get delivered. So they have a choice of first class and business class um, menus. I figured we should probably try first class instead of business because we've, we've been fortunate enough to fly business before. So we've had a taste of their menus, but we've never flown first class. I so, am quite curious about what first class would be like. This could be the closest we get to first class. <laughs> so on the website it says, enjoy a taste of Singapore Airlines delivered to your home. Order a home dining experience for two created by world-renowned international culinary panel chefs paired with your choice of wine or champagne. For a perfect recreation of our first class or business class experience at home, purchase the all-inclusive package which comes with the exquisite tableware and luxurious amenities available exclusively on board our flights. So you can actually order the plates and cutlery and glasses that they would use on board their first class. As we scroll down, there's seven types of packages available. So the first one is the first class wine and dine. You get to choose like different um, meals created by different chefs. So there's like a Japanese one, there's a vegetarian one, there's I think a French one, an Australian one, yeah. and an Indian menu. So these are the meals that they would serve, I guess, according to the different destinations you're flying to. We're gonna choose the Australian ones. We're Australian, yeah. usually. Okay, this is what we would be served if we're flying back to Sydney and this menu is prepared by, or designed by Matt Moran. Moran? Matt Moran, right? Moran. Moran, I don't know why I Matt said that. Moran. No. That's what you said. <gasps> I didn't say that, I'm so sorry. I don't know, I just wanted to be fancy just then. Matt Moran menu. So for this one, it costs $448. As you go down the website, it gets more and more expensive. Mm. So let's just scroll down and just look at the most expensive one. So for the all-inclusive one, it is $888. 888. Lucky number. Is it lucky or is it super expensive? So it also comes with the China dinnerware. It comes with crystalware, so the champagne and wine glasses you get. Even the water glasses. <laughs> and then the amenities. You even get slippers and the sleeping like pajamas that they give you this could possibly be the most expensive meal we've ever like bought we're gonna be eating sure noodles for the rest of like the month oh my god that was not inclusive of tax man they get you they get you so all up oh, $950.16 <gasps> this better be worth it okay we just ordered the most expensive meal ever and we're just gonna wait until it gets delivered. So it's Thursday, the day that I booked for my Singapore Airlines first class meal to come and it just arrived. Let me just do a little bit of an unboxing because I actually don't know what's in here. The first bag, ah yes yes, this is the good stuff. 
We've got a bottle of Dom Perignon 2008. Okay, I don't know how to say this one. Mersault Genevrive. Biscuit, help me pronounce this. Mersault Genevrive. I don't know. It's a bottle of white, guys. This is the beef consomme. Two portions. There's an ice pack. Oh my god, it's so cold! Is it like dry ice? It's, it's dry ice, guys. I just like almost burnt my hand holding that. Okay, so in this box is the beef consomme, corned wagyu beef, bone marrow, and truffle oil, and it has the instructions here. Oh, okay. Okay, so everything is labeled. And <laughs> it's in like foil and plastic containers. Okay, I have to try to do my best to plate it and make it look like that. Next, we have this huge bag. In this bag, there was more food, all packed in boxes with heating instructions and photos. In this box, we have the dinnerware and crystalware. This totally beats all our IKEA <laughs> kitchen plates and glasses. Wow, it's all like nicely wrapped, bubble wrap. In this box, we have the amenity kits. So you get a male kit, you get a female kit and a unisex kit, and then you get um, a sleeper suit. So I got one and Alfred got one. Shall we wear this when we like have our like fine dining first class meal? Okay. I'm assuming this is the ladies amenities kit. This is a bougie. Oh my god, you get a perfume? In first class, they give you perfume? You get a lip balm, a hand cream, and a facial mist. Wow, okay, this is bougie. This is the men's amenities kit. This is actually a really nice cosmetic bag. Same, you get a perfume and body lotion, a facial mist, a lip balm. I wish we can like fly first class, please. Please, Singapore Airlines, sponsor us. This must be the unisex one. Again, it is so nice. Another perfume. I guess a uni... Oh wait, no. I'm not a perfume. It's a candle. It's a scented candle. Not that you can light this on the plane, but this is pretty cool. Shall we light this later when we're like eating? Sure. You get a little bar of soap. And I think it's similar to the other. Okay, a body lotion and a lip balm. We are upset on lip balm. Okay, so that's what we received. Now I need to follow the instructions and try to plate everything. And then um, hopefully I'm gonna try my best to make it look as close to the, the food in the photos. And then we can actually eat. I'm so hungry. We then proceeded to follow the heating instructions, which were pretty simple. Most only took about 10 minutes to heat up. They even had video instructions for each dish, as well as videos showing you how to plate each one. After that, we were both ready to dine in first class style. Okay guys, I know we didn't cook this, but it sure felt like we did. I was just a little bit frantic. Our kitchen is like a mess, there's boxes everywhere. But I feel like we did do a good job of preparing the first few like starters. Mm -hmm. We have here um, the chicken satay with the satay sauce in this little bowl. It smells so good. It smells good. It's actually pretty easy to heat up. Everything was pretty easy to do. It's just trying to time it and do it all together. And then we've got um, a basket of uh, breads, baked goods, and caviar, and I don't know, they look like little pancakes. Yeah. And I guess just like some toppings or... Right. I've actually never eaten... I've never eaten cav caviar. Aside from like the ones in sushi, but that's not caviar caviar, is it? Fish row. Yeah. The it? red ones. Is that not, I mean... No, that's not caviar. Okay, that's well I've caviar. never eaten this. We're gonna save the champagne for another day, but we thought we'd have the white. I don't know why, but it's just so scary. Don't break the cork! Oh my god, this is gonna break. He opened a bottle of red fine yesterday. I know, right. Oh, there you go, there you go. Okay, we got, we got it, it, got it. Oh! Oh! Don't waste it! 
I shall pour it for you since you opened it. Thank you, my dear. The finest glass of white for you, sir. Okay, cheese. Mm, very nice. Okay, I'm just gonna dig in because I'm really hungry. I'm gonna try the saute first. It's actually surprising because they give you so much sauce considering you only get three sticks each. So I'm just gonna like really get my mind drenched in the saute. Mm. Mm, mm. They also give you like cucumbers and onions. So Alfred and I have had this before because we have flown at business on those very very lucky occasions when we go mm -hmm. for work and they do serve us this starter right yeah well i don't think it's this big though this i think big. usually it's like very skinny yeah and you get it on like a tiny plate these are the fanciest plate we own now all our plates are usually from ikea yeah so we actually got two um jars of this caviar but i just thought we'd open one because we oh can really? That's just one? This is one. I mean, this is the, the sides, that's for two, but I just opened one caviar. If we finish it, then I'll open the next one. Ossietra caviar, here we go. Does it work? Mm, I'm not a fan of it. I think I just needed some more of the cream. What is that? Is that just um, sour cream? Creme fraiche. Creme fraiche. I didn't have enough toppings on mine, so I'm not going to make that rookie mistake. I'm going to load yours up. Guys, this is the most expensive meal we've ever had, and I hope... For real. I'm, I don't even care if I don't really like it. I'm going to finish every single last bite of this. Hmm? Yep, the cream did it. Yeah, I gotta put more cream. Yeah. Oh, I didn't put lemon on yours. Oh well. That's what was missing. It's like um, quite cheesy. I, I like it. Mm. Better, right? Better. Yeah. Actually, I, I prefer it without the lemon. A story with the garlic bread. I may have left it in the oven for a little bit too long, and it's kind of like dried out a little bit. You ruined it. I hope I didn't, but it does feel very like. So dry. No, it's okay. The middle is okay. I mean, I always love garlic bread, so yes, this is the winner from me, Singapore Airlines. Okay, we're gonna quickly finish this up and then move on to the next dish. But, what? So far, so good, right? So far, so yeah. good, actually. Alrighty, on to our appetizers. What did we get? So you have a Balak style smoked salmon, orange beetroot jelly, confit of orange, no avocado because they ran out, lime creme fraiche. Okay, a little story about that. They did call me in advance and say, hey, the avocados weren't like the best today. So are you okay with your salmon arriving without the avocado? Or do you want to switch to the other appetizer? I actually asked for the app other appetizer. Um, and they sent us two extras, but I thought, you know, they had already sent me the salmon anyway, so I was like, oh, it's okay. No avocado, no worries. So they actually, like, yeah, we got, like, freebies. Mm. And then you have... Uh, beef consomme with corn wagged beef, bone marrow, cabbage, and truffle oil. Truffle oil. I can smell that truffle oil, guys. Mm. Oh, it smells so good. I'm actually really proud of how I plated this. Mm. How's yours? It's a bit cold. I feel like it would be a lot better when if it was hotter. Why don't you heat it up? Can I? Yeah, try it. Yeah, heat it up. Okay, we just heated it up and so now it's not cold anymore. Try it again. Mm, much better. Can I have it? Mm -hmm. Mmm. It's just got that hint of truffle oil, so it's not like yeah. overpowering. <laughs> it actually tastes like some super fancy like Michelin star. Mm. It's very fresh. Right? Like mm. it, it 
Obviously, we could never cook this at home. Could we? I mean, I don't think I'd put in the effort. Can you imagine them serving this to you on the plane? It's so fancy. Yeah, it's pretty fancy for them. It's airplane super fancy, food. right? I'm scared because I don't want to get used to this because when we start flying, we oh, have don't to fly you We'll never get again. used to this. <laughs> this is as close as we're going to get to flying first yeah. class. I don't even think we will fly first class ever. <laughs> when we can fly we got, we, and we're in economy, we'll wear our like first class yeah. PJs and they'll be like, oh, fancy. <laughs> Normally you don't like smoked salmon, no, but, but this one is not like super smoked. Like, no, it's not. The flavor is not too strong. I think everything in on my dish really complements each other. Like it's really fresh. The cream's not too. It's not too heavy. I love the little microgreens. It just gives you that like little crunch and freshness. What am I? Am I like some uh, like food critic? Food critic? Oh my <laughs> gosh! I was just possessed just then. It's probably the best meal we've ever had in Singapore. No. What about my cooking? Besides that, if you put this in a mug, I will drink it. It's just like, drink it. get the plate. Please. Should I just drink it? Yeah. Do you want? I feel it like off? the spoon's very awkward. Yeah, I feel like it's just so. It's like a soup that you just want to like keep drinking, right? Like you don't want to just stop, and that spoon's too small. But you make it sound so delicious. Mmm, it's got little cabbage pieces in it. You can get some of that before. Okay, we're back with our mains. I got the roasted lobster in spicy bisque sauce. And I got the pork belly with spiced apple sauce. There's extra um, sauce. I just didn't want to drizzle it all over. Like I'm probably gonna smash my sauce, but I just wanted mine to look dainty and delicate. Cause you know when you go to a fancy restaurant, they give you only like a couple drops of sauce. That's what I was trying to emulate. I actually have like a little claw right here. Oh, it's so cute. Isn't that fancy? Mmm. But I was right. I need to like put a lot of Smash sauce, that on sauce in. This pop is good. Can I have a bite? No. Is this a date or is this not a date? Is this a date? This is a date! Why would we spend so much money and not call it a date? Oh, if your okay. date asks for a bite of your food Do you go on a date in your pajamas? This is a fancy date. It's a first class date. Have you ever never no. been on one, right? There you go mm. That's it's good. good, right? Yeah. Wow. Do you reckon it'd be even better on the plane? I think it would be way better if someone else prepared it for you. Yeah but this is already good. I kind of regret like not booking the chef. Like if we were going to spend this much money anyway, wouldn't it be nice to have a guy in our kitchen just preparing everything? Did I book a biscuit or did I book a chef? <laughs> she obviously heard all that, mmm, how much we were enjoying our food and look at her. You can't have some of this. I'll, you already ate biscuit. Did you give me lobster or did you give me... What did you give me? I gave you the tiniest piece of lobster and then the um, charred vegetables. <laughs> I could not taste the lobster. It was all vegetables. Yeah, here, 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 here. This is just lobster. Ah, look how reluctant you are to give me that. Mm. I think it's actually so hard to be a food blogger because I would be too busy eating. I don't know what to say, you know what I mean? Yeah. I actually prefer Alfred's dish. Me too. Compared to mine. <laughs> Mine's just obviously lobster, always fancy, schmancy, but Alfred's oh, pork belly is mm. the winner. It's very delicious. It's got that perfect ratio of like the lean meat and the fat. to fat mm. and the skin. You want some more? Oh, food. Mm. Good, right? We are slipping into food coma. Into food comas. Like, I'm so full. When I first saw this, I was like, I can't wait for dessert. And now I'm like trying to find a little cavity in my stomach to fit this in. Because we have like our own dessert each. I have the apple crumble with seasonal berries and passion fruit sauce. And then Alfred's got a 
salted caramel gel popcorn and sour cream mousse. Plus, on top of that, because you know, first class people are extra, you get like a cheese platter and a fruit mm -hmm. platter. I'm just putting that out there. I'm not gonna finish this. Yeah, look, okay. You're gonna eat your word. <laughs> I don't even care if I don't really like that. I'm gonna finish every single last bite of this. <laughs> I'm gonna try to eat dessert. That's what I'm gonna try to eat. Let's just try our desserts first. Okay, be scared. Yeah, I know, you smell the cheese, don't you? <laughs> you want some dessert, don't Can't you? Can't have it. She, oh my gosh, she's, she's going crazy. She's going crazy. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. I found the cavity. Hungry again. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. It's really fresh and nice. Hi, Biscuit. <laughs> Once again, you got the better dessert. It's like a dark chocolate with a milk chocolate mousse and like a like a salted caramel sauce. How can you talk like with, with this person? This dog. How can you... Biscuit, what can I give you? I can't... Can dogs eat strawberries? Google it, Google it. This is the struggles of having a dog. See, we're trying to have a lovely date and we've got our child just begging for food. <sighs> Found a distraction. You know, your taste is really good, but I cannot finish that. It's just too, it's too, rich, huh? too rich. But this one, it's fruity, it's fresh. The passion fruit sauce is really nice. I love berries. I do like how it has like little pops of caramel. I'm a chocolate person, so I do like chocolate, but yeah, mm. this one, it's not sticking. I really like it. It's kind of fresh. That's why I feel like I can still eat, mm -hmm. whereas that one, it feels heavy immediately. Okay, guys, I'm just going to say I cannot even try the cheese and the fruit. I mean, I kind of know what they taste like, but there is like a really nice assortment of cheese here. Very fancy. But yeah, overall, what do you think? It was really pleasant, yeah. Was it worth the price? <laughs> Obviously, we kind of went all out. We didn't need these extras, mm -hmm. but it is quite nice. We wanted the full experience. Having said that, we probably wouldn't spend it again, right? I mean, why would we? We already have the china set. We've already got the glassware. Mm -hmm. No need to. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Biscuit agrees. But hey, going to a good cause. Singapore Airlines, they're struggling right now because of COVID, so happy to support these guys i think it's a great way to just like right biscuit i think it's a great way for airlines to just diversify a little bit find another way to kind of give their customers that experience but obviously in the pandemic situation and environment you know i think it's a really cool idea apparently lots of other people ordered like these meals at home as well I'd be like really interested to like go on the aircraft to eat. Wouldn't that be nice? Mm, yeah. I think they had that experience, but I think maybe it was like booked out That's immediately booked or out, something. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Biscuit is just <laughs> tearing up her toys. I think we're going to cap it off there, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video. It's always nice to film a video with Alfred and we love it when there's food involved. Plus, the cherry on top today is that we get to do it in sleepwear. Very comfortable <laughs> sleepwear. Anyways, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos that I post. And I think we're just gonna slip into a food coma, guys. So we better just like say goodbye and we'll speak to you guys next time. Bye. Okay, this is paper rock. Who's gonna wash up? Scissors, paper, rock. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I will help you. I will supervise. <laughs>